I am hardened now and quite used to seeing awful sights. They are awful. Men with heads and arms blown off and shrieking with pain. We sleep under the hill. The fighting is still going on desperately. The Turks are putting up a stubborn resistance and are hard pressing our left flank. Two of our men out of 12 were hit by shells. The warships are firing over us with approximately 15 guns at the Turks. We're doing great damage. I am out on the left flank with four others of our troop. The enemy is bombarding our aerials, so we keep under cover until they finish. Long streams of wounded and dead men are being carried past us. The Turks fire on our Red Cross. So we have been ordered to ignore the white flag. Kill all. At 1am, a Turkish battalion of 900 men and 9 machine guns were captured by the Australians. Great joy. We're now getting a bit of our own back. In our 3rd Brigade of 5,000 men, Australians are almost wiped out. There will be some aching hearts when the list goes out. We are under very heavy shrapnel fire all day. Bullets are falling on the bags over my head. Needless to say, I'm well behind the bags. Two donkeys tied up to a cart alongside us were killed and our camp was damaged. The warships are bombarding the Turks' batteries as I write this. Shell is bursting all around me, knocking the sand out of the barricade. I thank God I've been spared so far. The Turks are murdering all our wounded as they get them. The position is very favourable on our side. Three horses, two men have just been shot alongside me. Some of our escapes have been miraculous. <laughs> 